What's up YouTube, JP here. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm fed up of stick drift. But has Gully Kit got the solution? Is this the end of stick drift? Well, without further delay, let's find out. So stick drift is a real problem for the Nintendo Switch. I know personally I've changed about six in the past year. So when I found out about these new hall sensing thumbsticks, I just had to pick up a pair. So I picked mine up from Amazon and that was purely because of the next day delivery. You can get these cheaper from AliExpress, but I paid about £29 or $30 for my set that I got from Amazon. So first of all, let's do an unboxing and see what you get. So here's the box the kit came in. It's just a plain brown box with a sticker on it. As you can see it says Gully Kit on the side and there's a picture of the thumbsticks on the top. Now I was only expecting the thumbsticks but let's take a look see what else you get. So of course we have more screwdrivers. We have a tri-wing and a Phillips. I've got so many of these now I could start my own shop. Next we have some replacement screws. These are always handy because I'm always losing them. Then we have a guitar pick style spudger tool. Then we have the thumbsticks themselves. We'll take a look at these in a moment. And then we have some of these thumb grip caps. I'm not going to be using them. So let's take a quick look at what these thumbsticks are like. Now as I'm opening the box I will tell you now that I've already used one on my left Joy-Con and fitted it. Now as you can see it looks identical to the original and that's good news so we know it's going to fit without any issues. So taking a closer look I took this photo. Now the one on the left is the original one from the Joy-Con and then the one on the right is the replacement hall sensing one. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I've got you a 10% discount code off anything on the Extreme Rate website. Now they have some amazing products, just like this atomic purple shell for the Nintendo Switch. They also have dock shells, LED light kits, replacement parts, screen protectors, you name it, they've got it. Use code ARG10 to save 10% today. So what makes these different and why are they so much more expensive? It was only last week when I picked up four replacement thumbsticks for about $10 off Amazon. So why do these cost three times as much for only two? So to make this as simple as possible, the normal thumbsticks on the Nintendo Switch have a carbon film and then there's some metal teeth. And as you're moving the stick around, these metal teeth go up and down on this carbon film. And that's how it detects the position. Now after time, debris can get in there and that carbon film can wear out. Now this actually might surprise you, but hall sensing thumbsticks is nothing new. Do you remember the Dreamcast? Well, this thumbstick here is exactly the same. It's a magnetized hall sensing thumbstick. And this is from the Dreamcast. So Sega had it right way back in the day. So what's the difference between these and the hall sensing thumbsticks? So the difference with the hall sensing thumbsticks is they don't have that carbon film. There's no physical contact. How it works is there's two magnets and there's some sensors. So as you're moving the thumbstick around, those magnets are getting closer and further away from the sensors, which gives them a reading that gives them an accurate position of where that thumbstick is. So as there's no carbon film and physical contact, these magnets are just kind of going backwards and forwards on the thumbstick itself, and the sensors are picking it up. There's nothing to wear out. So you should never get stick drift with these thumbsticks. Now I'm not saying they're gonna last forever because let's face it, nothing does. If if you look after them they should last a hell of a lot longer than the standard Nintendo ones, maybe the lifetime of the console. So let's talk about the installation process. As always you're going to have to take the Joy-Con apart. Now it is a plug and play swap. You're taking out the old one, you're putting in the new one and then just everything's in reverse. Now this was completely my fault. The actual plastic white tweezers you see in the video actually came with the kit, but they're not great. I would recommend using a metal pair of tweezers. 
So as you can see, anything we've taken the Joy-Cons apart can be fiddly, but if you take your time and have some patience, you should get there in the end. Now, of course, as to the longevity of these thumbsticks, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But as the feel goes, they feel very similar to the original ones, maybe a little bit more mechanical. They do feel robust, and I think they're going to last quite a long time. So in summary, if you've ever had stick drift in the past, this is a really good upgrade for your Nintendo Switch. Yes, they're expensive, but I feel that they're worth it. And if you go onto AliExpress and you don't mind it taking a while for them to get there, you can get them a bit cheaper. So I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoy my content and you want to support me and my channel, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Retro Gaming, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.